Hello, this is Team Shabai, and we doing a deep born one deck. I love these tokens. I got one, one of my uh, friends at Dima when we were playing deep born one before the new support. The tune, like if, if you know you your tunes, is like one of my favorite decks. But like this is like tune deep born one, so pretty cool uh, tokens. I think so. Alright, let's get into the Deep Bulma deck list. Alright, so I play three. Oh, well, not three, four. Tizma. This is the one that, you know, your turn when you have a different Dinimon gain to 2000 DP and then the BT5 Terra that if it on there, if it attacks, draw a card. Like, I see some versions, like, I. There was one version that, like, plays. Three of the draw one and two of these, or something like that. I I don't know if I will test out that version, but like, draw out is kind of nice, but in some sense it's not needed. Maybe I don't know. All right, let's go into Digimon. We play three Koromon of this one. This one is each other Digimon you have been played. Has the same name, uh, oh, with the same name as this Digimon. This Digimon gets 1000 DP. So, yeah. Um, I kind of want to play the promo one. Like, I have it and stuff. I just have it switch it. I think I might um, play the uh, promo one piece during your opponent getting 1000 DP. Might be better, but this is the one I'm playing right now in the moment. And then four of the draw one, you know, when you make a deep boromon, you play a deep boromon, you draw cards, and it's not once per turn, so you can draw a lot in thirty take yourself out. And then four of the Scherzer one, reveal top five, add a that tamer, and then the undefy, so standard, and then the. Two Chumon because you know blue is still one of the good decks. So it stops uh, Ice Wall and it stops Hammer Sparks. So yeah, like if you want to like die, deal damage and stuff, and you're able to gain memory, you play Chumon. If they Ice Wall you, happy that card's that one. Um, <clears throat> so that's all the rookies I play. Like, you know, Chuma is the under vibe, but you know, it's, it stops uh, good cards, so yeah. Uh, Charisma, we play one of these. This is the one that's your turn, once per turn, when one of your opponent, when one of your other Digimon with the same name as this Digimon is deleted, I spent this Digimon. Uh, I was playing three of this, but it really doesn't really come up that much, really. and. By testing out, I like one because I played the delay one. No, I know this one got like a rotter, but like I think it still does the same thing. Uh, all of your Digimon with the same name as the Digimon games decoy white slash black. When one of your other black or white Digimon would be deleted, you can delete this. So I believe you can delete the tokens. I'm not 100 sure on this, but. I believe that's how it works is you can delete the token be in the game you pour them I think they worrying it uh or rather make it where you can't pop the token because it sounds like you can't but it did got a rather so look at the official Genimo website. So that's why like I think I'm playing like three of this but like this does sometimes like a little bit it Game theory come up. And then you play three of this one. You play your team for free if you don't have him out already. And they give the tokens rush. And then four of the one that gain memory because if you can gain memory of like play the uh, deep bore mine and some chances you can gain an extra memory because you reduce the cost, make it two and bring three deep bore game memory so it's still your turn and 
If the six is, is only your turn, because the new duty board might give you a, a token, uh, just during your turn, you can't want to gain memory. If it was all turns, they can make it a little bit better. So that's all the level fours. Level five, we play two of this Irma. You can warp to develop it, make it cost four. And on duration, you make a deep warm on token. Uh, I'm not sure about this. I'm testing, like, they could rather pay like four, four of the other Informa, but like, uh, the warp to devolve can come in clutch sometimes if you brick. So, I don't know. I think it's good at two or none. Uh, in front of, uh, of the one that reduced the cost by one, not a lot of people play green, so not a lot of people playing those cards of reducing costs. You can't reduce co the cost of it, so make the deep bomb on twos basically. And then this is one uh, <coughs> I don't really like this one, be it during your opponent turn. Once per turn, when you point it with GG Bob to level five or higher, gain one memory. So against like certain decks like Agumon Bond if they're at three and then like they did evolve into their level seven you will gain one memory so like this can c catch off your opponent off guard sometimes and his other effect is all turns all other Genimo with the same name as this Genimo gets 2000 DP so it's nice to boost up your tokens to make them to 5000 dp or higher if you have multiple of these but like yeah like i would cut these out to make four four but i still kind of like this one so i uh and then play for the deep boromon token when digivolving you make a deep boromon token i do have my sword champion cha ones but like if you notice i proxy some cards i bought all of these cards Online and just waiting them to come in the mail, but like I have these store champion ones that look cooler, but and So that was all of the level fives as of these And then you play for the token ones because you know in security you make a token when you get deleted is it uh, uh His security effect is all the like newer ones like after damage so like your digimon dies and what their digimon dies and then you make a token afterwards so yeah that's why like i wish that one during all turns but <laughs> yeah and then during your point turn all the boromon get blocker so like this guy gain you a blocker so like that's why during uh with this and the other one it will make it the 13 15 so I shouldn't be able to get pop or get spin by the other guys of the Akuma and Guma. And then one deep uh promo deep Boromon. So I don't know how I feel about this guy. Of like the version I play testing. Like I was playing at two and I don't know. <laughs> like having at one is cute and all, like I have another version of this deck that I'm gonna show you uh soon, but yeah, I play one of it. So that's all the level sixes. And then the Arma of you know pop a token. I have rush so I'd be able to attack and alter when digivolving the level seven can activate effects. Uh that one does I guess eight and thirty can come up against something. Oh no, all these other level sevens aren't GG evolving effects, so it's not as good in this format. And like it's cute and I'll do stuff some things, but like it doesn't stop like one of the good decks of the formats of of GG evolving their level seven speed or when attacking, so yeah. Uh that's all the level sevens, you play two of it. I was playing one of it, but like I kinda like two you see it you can end games it <laughs> kind of bushy Agumon like if you can gain the memory and like have rush to do some damage and they survive and boom bring him out game uh option cars oh we play one cut cannon uh did you evolve it by two is nice because you know against like 
blue. You make you into Akuma, so it's, they had to evolve back into it or something. And if you had Deep Borma, you make it token, so you can give you another blocker or another <clears throat> guy give you brush or anything in class four. So yeah, and then three ultimate flares. I think this is very good against the meta because against like Chessmon, like if it's in your hand or they couldn't uh that go plan you get rid of their level three uh Cersei mons and stuff like that dj by three is um amazing and against red uh aguma and blue Uma, uh alma yeah Kama, uh <coughs> it will get rid of their board when in security they're not like rushing you in some sense, so slow them down a little bit to get rid of their board, and then you play for the tamer. And this one makes sense, but you know, this is basically a deep bomb, like, yeah, you had to play it, and four is the right number, I believe. You play like three, you're, you're this odd, but playing four of these so you can see in your hand or in security, and you know, gain one memory. Uh, when you have uh, identify in the trash, and then when you evolving, you make your tokens. And some games, you see, if you have all four of them out, you gain four memory, and you push, gotta make a lot of tokens with this. <laughs> you make this like is basically like a wall, and then the problem is like I can deal damage quick as possible if I'm sick of walling up and it'll deal a lot of damage to you. Yeah, this was this is the kind of my third version of the deck. I have a, another fourth version of the deck that I want to test out. I'm trying to test out sometimes. <laughs> I've been a little bit lazy of testing a little bit, but when I got sick and stuff, I was testing this out, and I kind of like this version very much. But I will show you the lists I was up uh, playing. So this is the first list I played because you know is OCG, and I saw this a winning. When you count these cards, it's equal up to 49 cards. So what I did is just assuming that it plays almost charisma of the draw power one. Instead of like any adding up anything else because I, I count it so many times and uh, I don't know. Like I like the tamer, like the drawing, but I think you give yourself way too much draw power sometimes. And like yeah, the 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 evolving by two like I really didn't like it at like three. It wasn't doing anything really that much, and I didn't like this version very much. So like that's why I tested it out. But like the tamer is good against Akuma and Ruma be this way with the small guys and minus one memory and draw power. But I didn't like this list at all. So this is a list that I'm currently playing basically because like I did make like the current mod changing of the forecast one like that's where I put the promos one and like this is basically the list I'm playing I got really like this list it's pretty good and like with decoy but yeah, this is a yeah, this is the list I'm rocking at at the moment. And I did see another list of like playing like uh, it was another list from a uh, a YouTuber that like uh that gave me an idea of decoy and stuff like this is good and yeah. So this is the YouTuber that make a list that like I kind of want to try out. Is the place uh the other the white teamer that yeah, went on play you look at the top three you add a GDMA so it tight they didn't get your uh tamer your black teamer um you have a on verify in the trash or you, you'll be able to gain the one extra memory and stuff like that early on is that waiting or swing in your point security so 
yeah, this is the version that I kind of want to test out too. Be like, kind of like it. But yeah, I like I don't know why he's playing Emerald Mall, like two of the game power one. I had to understand it and like if we going for like a wall strategy, a strategy I would play full promo ones uh instead of the game 1000 because if you aren't doing damage it's only during your turn I would add this of that one Digimon game attack power during your opponent make it into a 15 attacker instead but besides that, I like his list. I haven't tested out yet because I just haven't. <laughs> like I will test it out as soon as possible. But if it kills Lilith, is pretty good too. If the tamer does make sense, and then if you deep or you get uh, delete, I had to have a Digimon source. So like when I read that card, like oh, it does make sense. Be like in the Borma, you will keep you will be able to gain a memory and then hatch like. Using those, uh, your the Bulma had to have a uh, material under it when it dies, so it makes sense. I feel like the Bulma would make it cheesy, <laughs> but yeah, this is the list. Like playing third of this guy does make sense, but you, what you're planning to doing is making a wall. Basically, you are dice so down your opponent and just build a wall, and then when you're ready, able to swing at your opponent and push for game, basically. And yeah, this is uh his uh, channel will be link in the description of using his deck profile. But yeah. Yeah, this is all the lists that I'm trying out basically. Well I test out two of them out of the three. And there's a lot there play styles with this deck so it's way different and stuff like that so yeah that's all i have thank you for watching like stripe and see you next time bye for now